Hey, this is Florian, Online Tennis Instruction. Tennis is a movement game and we'll cover movement in detail in the near future. Let's begin by showing you two critical movement patterns that you absolutely have to master. Now the two most important movement patterns for you to master to move efficiently are crossover steps and shuffle steps. Okay, we use crossover steps to cover large distances and usually shuffle steps for short distances. So these are the most important. Let me, uh, let me demonstrate and show a couple, okay? So if I'm moving to the ball, I split step, and now this leg here can uh, cross over in front like that. I cross over again, okay? I have a large distance to cover. Now I hit my forehand. Afterwards, I can uh, cross over again in front with this leg. This is the typical pattern when I have a, a relatively large distance to cover to the middle. So I can cross over like this and then come back. And now if there's just a short distance left to my optimal recovery position, I can use what's called a shuffle step and that looks like this. Okay, so that's for the short distance. Now, if the forehand that's coming here uh, is not far away from me, I can also do a shuffle from here. Okay, I can shuffle just one step like that and then hit my forehand and then shuffle back to the optimal recovery. So we use that shuffle step for the short distance and the crossover step for the large distance. Now if I really have to go into the corner, okay, and hit my forehand from all the way out here, um, sometimes I'll go with two crossover steps back to the middle. So that's gonna look like this. Crossover in front, crossover in front again, and then shuffle, okay? Because once again, the crossover step is uh, the best one you can use for large distances. Now, sometimes if you're way out of the court, you may have to run in this direction where you kind of face like that, but you want to avoid that as much as possible because then you cannot react. The good thing here is when we're doing the crossover, so if I'm crossing over like this, my upper body is still facing in that direction, and that means I can react um, in either direction the moment my opponent hits. If I'm facing all the way in this direction, I have a really hard time going back there uh, if my opponent hits to that side again, okay? So that's why we want to try to remain with those crossover steps whenever possible. Now, um, the other crossover step that's uh, used quite often is on the backhand side is the reverse crossover. Federer uses this a lot. So if I go in this direction, I hit my backhand right here. I can then reverse crossover with this leg to get back to the middle like that. Okay, so that's uh, commonly used, especially with the one-handed backhand. All right, so much for these. Um, you can practice these with shadow swings as usual. Um, incorporate that into your game step by step and I also recommend you take a, a video of yourself and then compare that to what some of the pros are doing and also now let's take a look at some of these steps in super slow motion. Okay so here you can see my student Sonia we're gonna look at a typical sequence where she's going to use crossover steps as well as shuffle steps. So here from the split step Sonia realizes the ball is coming to the forehand and she actually begins with a shuffle step now, a small shuffle step. Now the reason she does that is she realized that the ball is coming very slow and that she has a lot of time. In a situation where she would need to get to the corner quickly she would not start with a shuffle step. Instead she would start with this kind of a crossover step in front that we see now that allows to uh, cover more distance. After the shot she now finishes in a very athletic stance and balanced position and from here she's going to have to use a large crossover step in front that we can see right now and that's going to allow her to cover a lot of distance because she's way out of the court. Now after that uh, crossover step she realizes that she only has a small distance left to get back to the optimal recovery position and as a result she now uses a shuffle step for the last distance to cover. Now I want to show you one other situation where I'm uh, hitting a backhand return and it's actually not necessary to go for a big crossover step. Okay, So right here you can see that uh, two-handed backhand return and I'm actually after the return inside the single sideline and because I hit that return cross court I'm not too far away from where I want to be to react for the next shot and as a result of that I'm simply going to use one large uh, shuffle step here to get into the optimal position for the next shot. So here you can see that shuffle step 
and uh, now I am already in the position I want to be to react for the next shot. In this case uh, my opponent actually missed the shot so I don't have to hit another one. So the important thing you need to remember is that you want to use crossover steps for large distances and shuffle steps for shorter distances on the court and then uh, you need to experiment with these steps. Um, I would also highly recommend to take a look on YouTube at some super slow motion of Roger Federer for example. See how he moves with these crossover steps and shuffle steps and when he uses them. Um, it's actually really fun to watch that and just pay attention to the legs and not even what's happening uh, with the ball. If you want to work on your game according to the OTI methodology, you can now do that with private lessons from an OTI certified instructor. My friend and colleague Nadim Nasser is the first OTI certified instructor and he now offers private lessons according to the OTI methodology year round in sunny Miami, Florida. When you work with Nadim, you'll get state of the art instruction with instant video feedback on the court. Nadim has helped me with several clinics and he's been teaching the OTI methodology for several months now successfully in Miami. Nadim's students are extremely happy with the results so far. Alex says, thanks again for a really fantastic lesson. I'm really, really pleased. I honestly wasn't expecting to be hitting the serve so much better right away. It's pretty awesome. To find out all the details about taking private lessons with Nadim in Florida, simply click the link inside this video right now.